All right, I had uh, Greek food tonight, so you know what time it is. Uh, this is my review of uh, Pro Wrestling Noah's uh, Great Voyage Volume 3 in Tokyo, I believe. Uh, it's July 10, 2011. Uh, it's from the uh, Differ Ariaki, or as I call them, the Indifferent Ariaki, because clearly this crowd is is dead as fucking Elvis. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to the show. Uh, our first match was our opener, Tanaguchi Shuhei, who should not be in the opener. It should be the champion in two years' time tops. So you had Tanaguchi, Tanaguchi Shuhei and Anue Masao versus Shiga Kentaro and Ukita Takashi. Uh, yeah, um, there was some crackhead uh, holding the ropes open for these guys. Sorry, the Sack Saber Jr. They look identical. Seriously, that that dude needs to eat a sandwich, or get off the pipe. One or the other. Either way, it's not good. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Tana, yeah, like I said, Tana Gucci's been blowing here, but it was still it wasn't bad, especially for a no opener, and that's high praise from me saying not bad. Any no opener that's anything less than. I don't know. Basically, all you have to be is okay to pass as an opener and know, and that's good. It's good enough. It beats their usual. So uh, I, I came up with an idea watching this match because it was not that interesting. It would be uh, you take Shiga, who doesn't mean anything. He's just there to fill in a space, and you put him against Onoe, who, who well, he's all right. Doesn't really serve like a huge purpose besides being, besides being like a gatekeeper. So you take them both, you give them gimmicks. Yeah, gimmicks in Japan. It's, it's worked, do you know? Uh, you give them basically an outcast versus a band of outcast geeks versus the, the jocks versus established guys. And uh, basically, I'm talking about Revenge of the Nerds. <sighs> I can see it now in the lights. Pro Wrestling Noah presents. At the sold out Tokyo Dome. Revenge of the Nerds. Ogre Anoe versus Shiga Point Dexter. That'd be money. I mean, Anoe looks like Ogre anyway. Uh, Shiga could pull off any nerd. Point Dexter's the best one for him. Uh, Zack Sabre can be Gilbert. Um, and Okita can be Booger. That'd be great. I think I just single handedly say professional wrestling. In Japan, Noah's undercard and Japan's economy, so you're welcome, Japan. Uh, the, yeah, to the back to the match itself, uh, the, the crowd was so deafening, I thought it actually went deaf in a second. Then I heard a single grasshopper after the three count, and I went, oh no, just a shitty crowd. I was in death. So I thanked, but I said, lucky stars after that one. Uh, oh, by the way, I think I saw. Uh, Hey, bail going down the uh, aisle because, like I said, ghost town. Dead is fucking Elvis. Dillinger dead. Dead. All right, then we got Ogawa Yoshinari, who I actually like, just not as a heavyweight, and Ricky Marvin versus the Kensuke office team of uh, Mihara Kento and Kawajira Satoshi. This is fun. Um, Ricky Marvin comes out to the least manly song in professional wrestling history, and that includes Billy and Chuck's You're So Good to Me. I mean, what the fuck? Do they actually listen to that shit in Mexico? Because if they do, uh, I take back every great thing I've ever said about Mexico. So, yeah, uh, Ogawa and Marvin are just, they're, they're so sharp as a unit. Uh, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm actually a little impressed, <laughs> which... Doesn't happen a lot, no, with me anymore. Uh, the Kensuke Office Boys were very well together. You can tell they do all the time, but yeah, it's uh, just a it's just a good match with a lot of great pin attempts and roll ups, kind of like a steamboat uh, savage sort of exchange of pinfalls attempts with uh, Marvin and uh, I believe it was Satoshi. Yeah. So yeah, that was exciting. Uh, speaking of exciting, Mr. Excitement was up next, Mohamed Yone. Uh, he was against uh, uh, Saito Akatoshi, and um, I, I don't know why he 
you know, and they keep hanging around. Uh, even if Takayama beat him up for five minutes, it wouldn't be interesting. He's that much of an energy sucker. Um, this is kind of like watching wrestling underwater because it was so fucking slow. Uh, I don't know, the match was kind of devoid of any personality or excitement. Uh, so naturally, the otherwise dead crowd came alive. This match went 10 minutes, which was 10 minutes too long. I don't even know what I'm going to rate this. Uh, I'm glad it was short so I didn't kill myself, I guess. Alright, uh, then we had uh, No Mercy, Takayama Yoshihiro, Kenta, and Shuri Yanagi Genba versus Sano Takuma, Ishimori Taiji, and Aoki Atsushi. Uh, this wasn't bad. Uh, every time I see Sano, I expect 1,200 rolling soul butts and 13 double stops. Uh, but I didn't get quite that much, so I wasn't disappointed. Uh, Takayama shocked me with this change up of look. He actually, ugh, it doesn't look good at all. It's more fatty. Nah, who'd have thought? Uh, no Mercy uh, took the crowd in this match early by isolating the smaller Ishimori, which uh, is kind of hard to take a crowd out of a show where there's no real crowd at all. Uh, standard six, man. Surprisingly, there wasn't too much soul, but I guess. Um, yeah, I guess not bad. If you are rating, I can't give it a number score. It's just not in that neighborhood at all. All right, then we got a very good match. Akiyama Jun versus Nakajima Katsuhiko. 73%. Uh, Nakajima comes out looking like a court jester, which, I don't know, I worked for London and Kendrick. Why not Nakajima? Uh, Akiyama comes out looking like a burly Victorian secret model, which is creepy as fuck. Uh, he needs to stop wearing that shit. Uh, his blue was better. Uh, Nakajima came on like a pit bull on PCP. He just attacked Akayama right away. Akayama didn't even get in the ring. And yeah, Nakajima was throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Akayama. And Akayama was like, oh, you forgot your sink. And he kicked the shit out of him in return. And yeah, and basically uh, Akayama put down a pit bull. <laughs> but Nakajima, you know, he was one tough hombre. He just kept coming back. And uh, Akayama may have gotten better of him, but... Uh, Nakajima took the beating of the year, I think, even bigger than Kenta's against Takayama, so big props to him. And I hope he wins that title soon, because I don't remember seeing a bad singles junior match or any singles match with Nakajima, so put the title on him. He's better than Suzuki, he's better than Kanemaru, he's better than Kenta. Yeah. All right, then we had a contendership match. Uh, Suzaki Kensuke versus Morishima Takeshi, 70%. Um, this is the type of match I like, ordinarily, anyway. Uh, I love both guys in the match, and I love them even more when they're kicking the shit out of each other. Uh, no surprise, this was a good match, but a little surprise. Uh, well, at, at the time, it was kind of a surprise to me because I thought this would wake the crowd up, but the indifferent Ariaki, as I call them, didn't do enough. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this is, uh, they were just too, they were shitty, but not, the match was good. Morshin was vicious. Suzaki was even more vicious. Uh, definitely could have been better, but it was good for what it was. And then it was two guys trying to decapitate each other with their arms. Lariat City. So, uh, yeah, 70% maybe. Second best match uh, on the card, I would say. Sorry, third best. Akiyama and Nakajima was better, I think. But, but it was close. Alright, then we had the GHC Junior Heavyweight title. Suzuki Kotoro, the champion, versus Yoshinabu Kanemaru. Uh, 60%. Uh, I was expecting this match to be kind of great, given the history between Kanemaru and Suzuki. You'd expect them to have great chemistry, but that I remember this is now in 2011, and they don't exactly book logically. Uh, uh, I don't know. This is just... Mm, they crammed... At, it, it was good and everything, but then they crammed like 1,600 moves into two minutes, the last two minutes. 
and there's like 10 near falls in like a very, very short amount of time. And it made the move seem pointless and like they didn't matter. So, you know, it was like a Sam Callahan match. Went better than that, still. Uh, yeah, like I said, 60% at best. Yeah. Alright, then we had the Ch the main event, Chigichi Heavyweight title. You knew this wasn't going to be bad because Shio's obviously going to have bad matches, not when he's in control. Uh, Sagira Takashi, the champion, versus the challenger. Shiozaki Go. I give this like a like a four stars, eighty percent. Jesus Christ, Sugura hits so hard. Uh, even Takayama doesn't hit as hard as him. If you don't believe me, watch their match when he made Takayama look like a bitch by beating the fuck out of him with punches. Uh, Shiozaki took it like Rocky Balboa, kept going forward, busting out those great lariats. Like he hit the best lariat I've seen all year, and now he's my favorite lariat. Now. Loser. I thought he broke Segura's jaw at one point. And Segura went after Shiozaki's legitimately injured ribs, like he was trying to stop him from breathing. And it was just great. Even even the Ariaki got a little bit, a little bit hype. But you know, like I say, you could cut the electricity with a knife. But apparently, the Ariaki didn't pay the electricity bill. Fuck, they need to get louder. Um, just a uh, great finishing stretch. Uh, lots of lots of stiffness. I probably would have pre preferred that it ended with a uh, Larry. You know, it was great stuff. Uh, Shiozaki's reign begins. I know it's a spoiler, but did anyone honestly expect Sierra to last after that? Come on, the champion. Shiozaki has to prove himself, and I think he's gonna do it because he is, for my money, it should be for most people's money. Athletically, physically, uh, moveset wise, he's the most exciting heavyweight in the world. In the world, one of the best wrestlers in the world. Uh, he just is. He's, he's better than Segura. All Segura does is fight, he doesn't really wrestle. Uh, yeah, final verdict on this show is nothing really sucked, but other than the main event, nothing. The main event in the uh, Nakajima Akiyama match are all you need to see. Uh, Morishima Sasaki was good, it's just, it's not essential. I mean, all you have to know is who won it. Because honestly, uh, once you know who won it, you know who's going to be the eventual number one contender. Because it was a contendership match. Alright, this has been my Noah review in the, from the indifferent Ariaki in Tokyo. Hope you enjoyed it. and. Uh, yeah, support pro wrestling, just good wrestling in general. All right, good night, good luck, and good everything else.